Okay, look out Ozempic, Wagovi, Munjaro. Is there a new medication currently in the works that might be a total blockbuster compared to these? Stick around because we are going to talk about it. Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Megan. I am a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this channel is your trusted source for evidence-based answers to your weight questions. Okay, today we're gonna to talk about a new study that just came out in the New England Journal of Medicine about this medication, Ritatrutide. So, what is it? What does it do? Uh, it is a peptide which can activate three different kinds of receptors in the GI tract. So it can activate, like Wagovinozempic, the GLP-1, receptors. It can activate the GIP receptors like in Munjara, which does both. And then it also activates glucagon receptors. So it's one peptide active activity across three different very important receptors in the GI tract. And it has a half-life of about six days, so it can be dosed once a week, so very much like Wagovi and Munjaro. It was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial, about 50% men, 50% women and uh, they also all received lifestyle counseling. And it looked at patients who used Ritatrutide for 24 weeks and 48 weeks. And if you want to dive deeper into the methods and the demographics and all that, I highly recommend going to the New England Journal, reading the full study. It was very well done, definitely worth a full read. Um, but they looked at patients who use this medication for 24 to 48 weeks and at varying doses. So at, at 24 weeks, the one milligram patients had lost about, they were down by about 7.2% average total body weight loss. At the 12 milligram dose, those patients had a decrease in weight of 17.5%, which is amazing. Then at 48 weeks, those patients on the one milligram dose, they had an average body weight loss of about 8.7%. And at the 12 milligram dose, they had an average body weight loss of about 24.2%, which as an average is far above and beyond anything that we have seen from one medication thus far. So interestingly, they did find that patients who started out with a BMI of 35 or higher tended to lose more weight in the study and comparing men and women, women tended to lose a bit more weight than the men did. Other benefits they found, not surprisingly, blood pressure tended to increase, uh, A1C, which is a measurement of glucose control or prediabetes or diabetes, um, that tended to improve as well. Cholesterol, um, bad cholesterol tended to go down and patients who had non-alcoholic fatty liver disease also saw substantial improvements as well. So were there any side effects? Yes, but not really that much more than um, what we've seen with semaglutide or what we've seen with terzepatide. So um, about 60% of the patients on ritatrutide did discontinue due to side effects, and those were most of the common ones that we know. So nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation. Um, patients tended to be, these were dose related and it tended to be mitigated when patients started with a lower dose and worked their way up. Serious events, the rate was similar, uh, placebo and, re and treatment group. In a few patients, their liver enzymes tend to go up, tended to go up a little bit. Um, there was one episode of pancreatitis. Heart rate tended to transiently increase as the dose went up and then it kind of went back down. There were a couple mild to moderate cases of cardiac arrhythmias and then there was one serious case of a cardiac arrhythmia but there was also a question of whether this was more of a medication interaction as well uh, with regards to one of the medications that that particular patient was on and then there was some skin sensitivity in about seven percent of patients but it wasn't enough for anybody to discontinue the study so overall the takeaway for this get ready about 50 percent of the patients lost 25 percent total body weight Okay, and then about 25% of the patients in this study lost 30% or more total body weight on average. So these results are above and beyond 
anything that we've ever seen. Very, very promising. And the kicker is that the, at the end of the study, they were still losing weight. So we don't even really know where these patients will finally end up. So there are, there are longer studies in the work, so we'll definitely have more information about that, but these still may not be the final number. And overall, in terms of the side effects, they were very similar to what we've seen with terzepatide and semaglutide, similar in what they were and the severity. So, ritatrotide is a very promising medication. It is not on the market yet. It is not, is not available. It's definitely one to watch. Very promising results. Stay tuned. So that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my references will be listed down below and please be well.